Welcome to the Bread and Roses Theatre. Yeah, I'm Tessa and I'm the artistic director of the Bread and Roses Theatre. I'm Rebecca and I'm the managing director of the Bread and Roses Theatre. Yeah, the Bread and Roses Theatre is a 40 to 60 seat theatre venue above the Bread and Roses pub in Clapham. Um, and we were launched on the 1st of November 2014, so we've been going for two years now. We started putting up these scratch performances just a couple of times a year, but packed them out. And then, yeah, eventually we pitched it to the pub as an idea uh, to develop the space into a permanent theatre up here. And then in 2014, the pub bought stages and lights to kind of kick us off and start the theatre. Um, and then since then, actually, from money we've made and from donations we've had, uh, when people buy tickets, we've been able to get additional equipment um, to kind of have more scaffolding in and have a better lighting desk. So, yeah, so bit yeah. by bit, we're still growing it. The pub already has a lot of performances and arts going yeah. on anyways. So they already had performances on a regular basis. So it was more about just updating that and yeah. adding us to that package. It's been 164 productions, but then we've also had four festivals and all together the four festivals, because they have lots of shows that are just on for a night or so, have had an, about another 60 productions. The Club and Fringe started um, last year, so it had its first year last September 2015. 2015 and we're about to have it now again in 2016. And then we had the Unheard Festival and the One Billion Rising Festival. Mainly new writing actually. Some classics as well, like all female Tempest and we've got, we've got all male Hamlet. We had to give equal opportunities though, definitely. Yeah. We're winning awards and all sorts of these things. We've got Muscovado, that was, yeah. was really successful. Yeah, that was it? a really yeah. successful one. Um, and went on to win an Alfred Fagan Award as well. Yeah. Tour the country. Yeah. And then our own productions have yeah. been kind of big milestones that we produce as well, because we did the three big run of Miss Julie full length production that we did last year and then Low Level Panic this year, two completely different plays. Yeah, there was Cinderella and her smelly old slipper where she doesn't marry the prince because she's got better things to do. We have such a variety of shows. So it really depends a bit on what the play is, but that's quite nice because we've kind of got something in the mix for everyone, I think. Ooh, so yeah, this is uh, inside a theater. Uh, you can see our scaffolding around the room. And that's our new addition to the technical equipment because before that we only had lights on the two stands um, and now it kind of just gives companies much more flexibility in terms of what they can do with the lights and also other stuff they can hang. Um, you can move the stage, like this is sort of the original setup, but actually the stage gets moved around. Like, yeah, so we've, we've had stuff often. like in the round yeah. and thrust, um, we've had the stage near the door. Um, which is nice, it gives people the flexibility and mm -hmm. we have, yeah. Yeah, well, theatre bells. We're like on the fourth one or something because somebody keeps on stealing them. And we had a theatre teddy bear called Rosie and she's been kidnapped or banned. So how do people go about bringing their shows here? Uh, basically, we've got um, an application form on our website and just tell us lots about their show, If uh, tell us about their company, if they have the scripts ready, send us kind of samples of that and their CVs. And they meet us and they see the space. And yeah, and then usually from there we decide if, if we want to go ahead or not. So the companies don't have to um, pay any higher fee at all. We, we offer a 50-50 box office split. Yeah, we've become quite quickly, like quite established mm. that people just knew about us. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's kind of it's gotten out there quite quickly, and yeah. also funnily, a lot of people who think the venue has existed for more than two years, and then we yeah. won like the um, ICWP 5050 Applause Award two years in a row as well. Uh, Yay! <laughs> and basically, our playwriting award is an opportunity for an unproduced play um, to get some money as well as the possibility to get uh, considered for production and publication. And then we also have an Emerging Companies Award uh, where companies basically apply with their own production ready to go. Now, I think the future holds hopefully lots more excitement and lots more audiences and new shows and just constantly kind of growth and hopefully more funding. Yeah, so come on down to the Bread and Roses Theatre and check out what we've got to offer. <laughs> <laughs>